What's up, guys? This is Ryan Johnson with MoneyBass.com. And today I am doing a quick follow up to the video that I previous re previously released where we did one of the how, how would you fish it sessions. And that was also combined with a quick tutorial on the 360 mega imaging where I showed you guys how you can use that to zoom in to a specific area and use that to track bait fish and the fish that are pursuing that. And we just kind of went over uh, what baits we would use. There was a lot of good feedback in that. And actually, I will put the link to that video down in the description area. So make sure you take a look at that, guys. Click on that video and take a look at it. It'll be some added information to uh, kind of complement this video right here. So the purpose of this video is to follow up on a question that someone had asked regarding the icon itself for the uh, Mega 360. So what the question was relating to is the actual icon that sits in the center of the screen that does, even though it is shaped like the boat and it has kind of like a red and green looking light on there, it kind of implies that that is the actual full size of the boat. It is not. That icon only represents the 360 transducer itself. Just that little small puck is what you are actually looking at. So I'm going to pull up the video and show you guys um, just a segment of that and just kind of explain it while it's up on the screen. So let me go ahead and pull that up real quick. All right, so here we go. You can see the 360, um, the Mega 360 over on the right-hand side. And if you look in the bottom corner, you will see that there is a 12 times down there. Basically what that 12 times mean is that it has been zoomed in um, to 12 times the normal size. So that's what gives you that full screen, the way that it's taken up the full screen. And the other thing that you wanna take note of is the range is set out to 46 feet and you see the rings are 11 and a half feet each. So that first ring that you see outside the perimeter of the little boat icon that's on the screen, that is only 11.5 feet. So when looking at the screen itself, it kind of implies that that icon is the actual size of the boat when it is not. The boat is actually taking up a large portion of that um, of the screen that you're looking at. So what we'll do is I'll go ahead and, and play a quick clip from when I was out on the lake today and I kind of explained it. And then I will just kind of do a quick diagram. So that way it should give you guys a full, uh, you know, a full view and explanation of exactly what I am trying to convey to you as far as the uh, what you're seeing on the screen. And as always, if you have any questions or anything that you would like to add to this conversation, make sure you get active down in the comment section. We are here to help each other out, guys. So there will be a lot of guys that are reading the comments and just looking to learn. So um, I'd appreciate it if everybody would leave some type of comment, some type of feedback so we can keep these things going. But let me go ahead and pull up this video and let you guys take a look at that. All right, let's see. Okay, so there we go. So it's playing right now. And as it's going around, it's basically just showing you, let me pull it back up again. Hold on just a second. All right, here we go. Let me pause that one. All right, so this is from when I was out on the lake today. And this kind of explains uh, the portion of the video that I was explaining to you. All right, All right guys, let me just show you something. I had a question about this uh, 360 of how I was able to zoom in to watch those fish that were um, suspended and chasing those bait fish. So basically, I have my range set at 60 feet. Each one of these rings away from this point right here is going to be 15 feet. So you have 15, 30, 45, 60. And that gives us that 60 foot range right there. We're sitting in 17 foot of water. So this black area right here is basically 17 feet. So if you look right here, you can see that 15 foot ring. So you know from here to here is about another, what is that one and a half foot um, right there. So that black area is actually the water column. All right, and the other question that guys had. Now, this right here is not the boat. This right here is the 360 transducer right here at the front of the motor. So this boat is a little over 20, 20 feet long. So if this is 15 right here, well, this is 15 right here. So between 15 and 30, we're gonna be sitting right at that, um, 
20 foot range in here somewhere so the boat is actually and i will show a picture of it once i get back in in uh back at my uh computer but this is the front of the boat so if you were to draw the picture of this boat it would actually look something like this the boat is going to be is going to come back about 20 feet and this is just the front of the boat that just represents the transducer and that's it guys so um let me see there's a setting that you can go in here and actually change let's see if we can find it real quick 360 accessories all right 360 settings so that boat icon you can turn that boat icon on or off so right now it's on let's turn it off and now if you come back out here you'll see that that boat icon is gone all right guys hope that helps you out let me go ahead and head back in now and uh just draw a picture and show you guys exactly what i was showing on this screen just in case uh it, it i didn't quite explain it clearly all right so now let me go ahead and um, just do a quick sketch of what I was showing you and hopefully this will fill in any gaps for any misunderstanding or if anybody's still not quite understanding um, what I was showing on that video. Let me go ahead and move this down. And so what we're looking at is on that 360, you have the center area right here. So there's something right here that's kind of shaped like, like this that looks like a boat. And then around that, you have the rings that are 15 feet. So from here to here is 15 feet. From here to here is another 15 feet. So this is 30 feet out from this point. So you have 15, 30. Then we have another 45. So that'll be 45 feet. And then the 60 feet. All right. So this point right here, all that represents is the front of the boat, the transducer itself. And so since this is 15 feet, this is 30 feet. So 15, 20, 25, 30. So the boat is actually going to be kind of like this. All right, hope, hopefully you guys can see that right there, trying to get the shadow out of the way. But that is actually how the boat looks. So whenever you see fish that may be right here on the picture, those fish are actually right to the side of the boat, not here would make it look like it is back behind the boat, but they're actually to the side of the boat. All right. So hopefully that helps you guys. Let me just spin that around real quick, but there you go. So that would be the front of the boat. The boat is actually coming out to about here because that's 15 feet, 20, 25, 30. So right here will be about 20 feet, which is the length of my boat. And that is the outline of the boat. And let me just go ahead and pull the screen back up just so you can see exactly what I mean. All right, so here we go. All right, so looking there where my finger is pointed, those rings, I remember, are 11 and a half feet away. So um, that boat icon, and you can't see my mouse on the screen, but this is just a representation of what I was saying. So you see that little boat icon. Just keep in mind that is not the actual boat. So just below my finger where you see that bait ball at, that is actually about right at the a little past the center of the boat. So that may be um, directly to the left of where the seats are at on the boat. So you're not actually casting back into the left of the boat you would just cast over um just a little to the side of the boat in order to make that cast right there all right let me go ahead and pause that all right guys so that is the tip for today like i said this is just another addition to what we went over the other day hopefully that helps you guys out if you have any further questions make sure you hit me up in the in the comment section and as always guys please hit that like button support the channel and share these videos let's get better out there on the water guys let me know how everything is going out there for you um is anybody fishing any tournaments what kind of um you know what kind of weight are you getting and are you placing in the tournaments or how are things going all right guys really appreciate it i will see you on the next video